All right, for this problem, they're talking about supply and demand for artificial Christmas trees. And the question is, find the price that gives the market equilibrium price and the number of trees that will be sold and bought at this price. So the key is when they say market equilibrium, and for market equilibrium, you have to remember that supply equals demand. And then up here, they gave me um, a supply function right here. That's my supply function. So I'm going to put it here. And they also gave me the demand function, which will go on the other side of the equation. So this will be 0.01 Q squared plus 5.19. And then that will equal the 106.20 minus 0.20 Q. So here's demand, here's supply, and we are looking for where they're equal, equilibrium. Now what I did is I went back to, um, since I've got equations on both sides, I used my calculator and I made this side of the equation y sub 1 and this side y sub 2. So I hit, you know, my button y equals, the y equals button on my calculator. And I'm going to scroll down because I took a picture of what I did in my calculator. And here they are. So I got the 106.20 minus, wait a minute. Okay, I did it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Oopsie doozies. <laughs> Oops, and I eliminated my cue right there. Okay, so yeah, oh well. I made this y sub 1 and this y sub 2. Oh well, I got them both in there. Okay, so um, once I got them into my calculator, um, I hit graph, but I couldn't see them both. So I, what did I do? Go to my calculator here. Go to my window. How did I do it? I had to adjust my window a little bit in order to see them. And yes, I had to change my X max to a 100. And then my Y max. Um, actually, you know what? I didn't. I, well, it says 108.2, which reminds me. I actually hit the zoom button. And then under zero, it says zoom fit. And so when I hit zoom, and then I had to scroll to zero, uh, zoom fit, it made me see this picture here, okay? And once you, you know, do that, I can see the intersection point is right here. So then I went second, I hit the blue second button, trace, then I hit number five, which says intersect. And I'm looking for the point of intersection that is within this screen right here. Um, because it's a parabola, it should intersect at two places, but I have narrowed it down to that screen. So when you hit second, trace, and then hit number five, intersect, and then you have to hit the enter button three times, right? Enter, 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 enter. And then this is what I saw. Oh, sorry, I kind of covered it up there. What I saw right here is X was 91, and y was 88. But remember in the equations, the y is really the q, right? Since I have y sub 1, those equations were set equal. Hang on a second. Let me scroll back up again. What were they equal to? p. My y is p right here. 
that's your Y, and then your Q's, because these have Q's in them, those are your X's. So going back down here, looking at my picture here, um, my Y is 88, and that is going to be the price. So $88 is the price. And then the quantity is your X. X was 91, and that's your quantity. And that is the number of trees. And then just to, you know, verify that I did this correctly, where is my math lab question? It is right here. Okay, so the price was, what was it? <laughs> Well, we can't even remember nothing. 88. Yeah, price was 88. Quantity was 99. So 88. Boom. 91. Oh, please say yes, correct answer. There we go. Well done. Whew. Thank goodness. Okay. So anyway, that's how you do that problem. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, you don't have to use your calculator. You can take this equation and um, set it equal to zero. And then... I'd use a quadratic formula because the, uh, the numbers are all decimals. Um, and then in the quadratic formula, you'll get two answers, but one of them will be negative, so you can throw it out. But hey, use the graphing calculator. It's so much faster. So that is how you work that problem, and I hope that made sense.